Hey everyone, Ray Sawville here, and the topic we're going to be discussing is going to be competitor research on Facebook ads and the different ways we're going to spy in on exactly what our competitors are doing and then how to leverage that information on Facebook ad copy. Now, some of the basic principles that we are going to be discussing can definitely be used for other content, whether it's blog, website copy updates, things like that. But the main focus of today's video is how we can spy on our competitors' ads and then what we can do with that information. So let's dive in, guys. All right, so before we dive into the meat of the video here and all the different tools that are available at your disposal, one of the things that is very important to understand, which is kind of common sense, but it needs to be said anyways, make sure that when you guys are spying and doing this competitive intel research that you're not blatantly stealing or plagiarizing information. Um, you can definitely get in some trouble that way, and you can either be misrepresenting your brand or your client's brand and that can cause you to get into a whole lot of trouble so with these tools and power comes great responsibility so make sure that when you guys are looking into this information that you're kind of being smart about it so um, just use some common sense let's dive right in guys so this tool right here, I'll make sure to put a link inside the description, so make sure to check that out down below. But um, the, the the link is facebook.com, and it's ads library. And this is a somewhat new tool. came out in the past six months or so from the posting of this video. And why this tool is so cool is you're literally able to type in topics, um, a person's name, different organizations, pages, and literally see the different types of ads that are running. So you guys can kind of read into this a little bit more. The, the main reason why Facebook started doing it this way is just due to several transparency laws, GDPR, things like that. So a lot more transparency on Facebook nowadays compared to several years ago. So make sure when um, <laughs> you guys are leveraging this tool because it's so powerful, we're really able to dive into literally anything. So um, there's a lawyer here in uh, Milwaukee, where I am located, called Tupi and Abraham. They do some pretty good um, marketing. And hopefully I can spell here. Um, William Shatner is like one of their spokespersons. They have like um, different celebrity um, ambassadors, like Donald Driver, former Packers player, some cool stuff. Um, but the main thing that we're looking at here is what ad copy is being used right now on their platform. And guys, look look how powerful this is, right? We're able to see an exact page, the ads that are running, and where they're directing people. You can see different details about the ad. Um, you're able to see exactly what pops out at you when you're browsing through this information. So I would recommend for your industry, for your niche, for whatever you do or your client does, Definitely hop into Ads Library, browse competitor information, and see what they're doing and what may what may be working, and then more importantly, what you think you may have gaps in your current strategies. So, um, one really powerful thing here. So, we, again, we have a lawyer here. You know, they have some um, very specific like example stuff. The amount that was awarded based on the incident. They have some safety stuff based on motorcycles, some celebrity stuff. So, again, this is just a tool to generate more ideas on your end and. I'm a big fan of emojis, guys, and ads. You guys might think lawyers, emojis don't mix. Come on. There's there's definitely ways for that to work out. So um, just because it's just because you think your business may not work with emojis, I beg to differ. I think it should be something that should be tested for sure. So I'm just a cool thing to consider when you guys are browsing things. So definitely one tool that you want to have inside your tool belt here, especially if your client asks you, hey, Ray, um, What's my competitor doing? What's the competitive landscape? And this is just a cool value add that you can deliver to your client and say, well, here you go. Here are the exact ads that my client is running. Um, now, on the same front, if you want to see this information and if you want to browse straight to a page, here is the um, Facebook page here. What we're able to do here now is every single page has a page transparency section. So all I'm, all I'm doing here is I'm literally on this page of Hubie and Abraham. 
and I'm able to go to page transparency and see exactly what's happening. So if you click on see more, it's going to give you some information about when the page was created, if it was merged anywhere, if the name was changed, um, people who manage this place, where they're located. <clears throat> so that's, that's somewhat helpful, I, I suppose. But again, the meat of this is if you click go to add library, you're going to see the same information that we were just kind of looking at earlier. So definitely something that's very powerful. And if you're looking for new ideas, some inspiration, some, some competitive intel, you can steal different themes that your competitors are doing and test them out for yourself and see how they work for you and your clients. So definitely a big, big value add there. And one more thing that is actually pretty useful on Facebook itself is more transparency based information um, when it comes to why am I seeing a specific ad? So if you guys are scrolling through your Facebook newsfeed and you see a competitor's ad in there, or if you see your own ad, or, or pretty much anything, and you want to learn more information about how, like, and how the sausage is made on Facebook, you can kind of click on these three dots here and click on why am I seeing this ad? And, and obviously we know this is an ad because it's a sponsored. So if you click on why am I seeing this ad, it's gonna give you a lot more information. So it's like, hey, you're saying shift because I'm part of an audience that's called household income top 10% of zip codes US. So I, I guess Facebook thinks I'm in the top 10% of zip codes in the US between ages 21 through 55, which definitely is not true Facebook. So. <laughs> What you can do with these kind of things is you can click on options and you can hide all ads from your advertisers. You can change your um, ad preferences here. But the reason why this is helpful from a competitive perspective is if you visit your client's website, um, if you look at your client's page, you might start seeing their ads within your newsfeed. And you can see the different types of audiences that we're targeting, which that's a whole different subject, but audiences are extremely, extremely important on Facebook, especially when it comes to a conversion and messaging perspective, because your messaging is going to change entirely for someone who is very familiar with your brand versus someone who is brand new to your brand and has never heard of you before. So um, just another interesting thing. Um, haven't used Shift before, but um, I've definitely been seeing this ad a lot lately, which is pretty interesting. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is Ad Espresso, and they have a ton of different information on here. They actually have a pretty intriguing um, pricing module for, for competitor research or even like your own paid research. But one of the really helpful things that I found, and I know a lot of other people have leveraged, is Facebook ad examples from every industry. Again, there will be another example down in the description for the link, so I'll make sure to include that, but it's just... Um, ads examples and I think you can actually get there um, if you're in the footer of the page and you just click on examples so they have a pretty good education section and a pretty good series on, on how to become a Facebook pro which is some, some pretty interesting information in here but the biggest thing is you're able to see photo examples video examples all different ad types so like carousel slideshow all these different things are very powerful lead ads obviously if you're a lead gen business which we'll be covering in different videos down the line but you're able to see how different brands are tackling their ad copy on Facebook Facebook, why they think it's a good ad, why they think it's a good landing page, and the importance of the image and the engagement that it's generated. So um, not a ton I want to go through here specifically, but it's just another resource for you to take a look at to see um, what this service classifies as a good ad based on a on some pretty good information it's mainly from um, an engagement perspective if the, if the call to action is clear um, if it's if it's engaging, if the image looks good, there's a bunch of different things in here. So um, yeah, that's about it for this piece. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Let me know if I missed anything major in regards to um, ads library or other basic tools. I wanted this video to mainly be for Facebook ad copy. Obviously there's a ton of other tools out there, which I would love to hear about in the comments, but let me know your thoughts. I definitely want to learn more and find out what you guys have found successful. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.